What's up guys, Primal here with MASH Tactical and the Warrior Tribe. The situation is, we're out in the wilderness, we're hungry, we might be lost, and we need to procure some food. Hopefully you've stumbled upon a river or a stream nearby. If you have, you might be in luck because you might be able to get some fish. But in this instance, we don't have a fishing pole, we don't have traditional methods of catching fish, so what we need to do today is make a four-pronged primitive fishing spear. The things you're going to need are a good knife, and that's ideally about all you would need. You could add in some paracord to make your life easier, but you can fashion the rest of the materials that you need from this from nature. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about it. All right guys, so what I've done here is went out and got a piece of wood, hard wood, that's about half the diameter of my forearm, and it's just a little bit taller than me. You want to do it this way to keep it manageable and to be able to get a good grip on it. You don't want it to be too thick that you can't get your hands around it and you don't want it to be too long that it's hard to control when you're trying to spear a fish. So what we're going to do now is take our blade and we're going to start to develop the four prongs that go on the tip of this spear. So after you've cut your slots, now you got to take some twigs and you got to stuff it down inside of those two slots to expand the prongs. That's how we're going to get that width so we can sharpen them down and create the spear points. As you're putting these down in here, it's going to cause the wood to split even more down here. So you don't want to go too far or you're going to risk splitting the entire shaft. So what you want to do is pretty much apply pressure downward with a thumb and on the other side is what you're going to hit. So you're going to kind of have equal pressure as it continues to go down. And just gently, gently tap it down into place. I like to go down about six to seven inches on these. Don't get frustrated with it. If it starts to get stuck, don't start hitting it harder. Just continue to hit it and it will continue to split. So now that we've got one in, we're gonna put the other one in. So now that we've got the spear spread out, we've got our wedges in to increase the exposure. Now what we need to do is sharpen the tips. Alright guys, so we've got our spear here, we've got the tips nice and sharp, we've got our wedge blocks in place here. So what we want to do now is take some cordage, paracord or primitive cordage if you know how to make that, and we're going to wrap these wedges in place, and we're also going to wrap another part down here to prevent further splitting of this wood after repeated jabbing into the ground.
After a lot of repeated use of jabbing this thing in the ground, you'll notice that these splits continue to split down the shaft. And what we want to do to further prevent that, aside from just securing the wedges right here, is go ahead and take another strand of paracord, and we're going to wrap another wrap around right here where the splits stop. That way we can hopefully prevent it from going any further than it already is. Chances are it's going to keep continuing to split a little bit, but for the most part, these lashings should help keep it secure for a long time. And we want to get these as tight as possible. So there you go guys, this is our four pronged primitive fishing spear. We've got a lashing here to prevent further splitting down the shaft. We've got another lashing here to do the same exact thing but also hold these wedges in place so we can keep these good expanded prongs up top. And then we've got four different prongs that are fire hardened up top and very nice and sharp to do some spear fishing with. Now, you might be asking, you know, why do we have four prongs? Maybe we can do it with one. Sure, yeah you can, but the idea of this is to make it easier on yourself. When you're stabbing things into water, you'll notice that because of the light reflecting off of the surface, it causes you to be inaccurate in, in different directions. So you might miss the fish that you're aiming for by a few inches. But the reason why we have four prongs is to eliminate that margin of error. So that way, if we are off just a few inches, we can make up with it with having extra points. So ideally what you want to do is you'll, you'll stab into the ground and you'll pin it. And, and then you'll wait for the water to settle and you'll wait for it to calm down for a second and then you'll see where you have the fish stabbed at. From that point, you might turn and shift it to where the other prongs support it and then you're just going to scoop it out of the water and throw it up onto the bank wherever you're at. So that's how you would use this spear. Again guys, this is a good little primitive technology. If you're ever stranded in the wilderness, need to fashion something uh, to, to do some uh, hunting and gathering and things like that, you know, the, the, the four-pronged primitive fishing spear is a good way to procure some fish if you're in the, if you're in the wild or anything like that. Um, I can't actually do it here today to demonstrate it for you because I am at a, a small little creek bed that doesn't really have any kind of fish life in it right here. But, you know, if you were in that situation, you would be able to utilize this. And it also makes for a really good defensive tool as well. So that's going to do it, guys. Remember to harden your tips with fire. That way, if they do, get jabbed into something really hard. If you hit a rock or something like that, it can hopefully prevent them from breaking. But in the case that this does break, you can always go a little bit further down the shaft and repeat the process and uh, you know continue to utilize it that way. But all in all, it's relatively simple to construct uh, and this will definitely get the job done. So 
Get out there guys, get hands on, practice with this. I didn't get to do it today, but I'm gonna go out another day. I'm gonna take this thing with me, go to a nice little fishing spot and see what I can do. Your area and your laws might prevent you from doing so. Be sure to check into that. But as always guys, remember to comment, like, subscribe. If you thought this was helpful, please share it with a friend and stay tuned for the next video. I'll catch you guys later.